Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. He's the author of three books, including his most recent, Epic Begins with One Step Forward, so you can plan, achieve, and enjoy the journey. He's a speaker, trainer. He's here today to help you plan, achieve, and enjoy the topic. Welcome, Xander Sprague. Thank you so much, Lisa. It's great to be here. I'm super pumped to have you today. Let's jump in with the topics. I want to start right away with how can one small step make a huge difference? Well, we often have, when we, when we think about doing something epic in our life, which is indeed really big for, for us, it does have to start with that just that one step. So let's talk, let, let, for example, let's talk about weight loss, right? Hi. People want to lose weight and they go, oh my gosh, I need to lose uh, 25 pounds or, or whatever. And it right. is daunting. It is daunting. Really, that one thing, when you make that one step forward, so perhaps it's drinking your 100 plus ounces of water a day, Lisa. Do you know me well, Xander? Th then, That's one step. I love it. And I agree so much with that philosophy, like one step at a time. Keep going. And momentum, you know, you get momentum with that because you go, well, gee, that wasn't that hard. I, I, I'm able to do that. Okay. So what do, what might I do next? And, you know, my experience is I, I used to run marathons. And when I, when I first thought about doing it, 26.2 miles is a really long way. Yeah, I've done one. It's a lot. It's a lot. And, and so um, breaking it, you know, breaking it down into manageable steps makes it so much easier. So when I first did it, I joined team and training and um, they handed me a schedule. And that made it so much easier. So that was your step was join team and training then. Right? It was. And then when they handed me a training schedule, all I had to do was look in and would say, go run for 30 minutes. That's all I had to do today. Right. I love it. Well, I really love your um, smile. You're just such an awesome people. I know you guys are listening to this on audio, but Xander, you are truly epic. And I really want to ask you a few other questions here. What are two magic words that will dramatically boost your success? So easy. Not yet. Such positive words, Lisa, because I think when we say no, have I, have, have you lost 20 pounds? No. It, it's like the end of the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. However, not yet leaves open that you're still working on it. And there's so many things in our lives that are not yet, and that's okay. I've been there. there things, I have them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are things that there are things that, that we dream of doing. Just because you haven't done it right now doesn't mean that you're not able to. That you're not going to do it, right? And you know, as I talk about in 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 my book. Epic begins with one step forward. You know, there is the power of optimism within not yet. Not yet is just, gosh, I, I love it. I, I say it all the time. Not yet. It's so good. I like it. It's definitely so much more empowering than no, which is a stop. It, it, it is. And yes is always great. Have you lost 20 pounds? Yes, I have. But, but anyone's weight loss journey or whatever, whatever journey you're on, there's, there's, you know, steps forward, step back, a pause, uh, whatever. Not yet leaves that door open for us to continue on our journey. That's a wonderful reframe. I love it. Not yet. So how can we be epic at work, even with all of us working remotely right now? You know, Lisa, obviously the pandemic 
you know, created, shifted the whole way that everyone's working. And a couple of things that I'd like to share with you and with your audience is double down on being proactive about communicating with your colleagues. Um, you know, it, when we're in an office, people are there. Uh, if you're having a problem, you walk over to my desk, hey, Xander, what's going on? Yeah, you know, I have this problem. But when we're remote, it seems a little harder. So I think if you if you work harder at staying connected with your, your colleagues, that yeah. creates this epic team. Um, and then, you know, I, I think also, epic is, is so, it means so much and it's so big. And I think if we design our life in our career of our dreams, then, then we can do that. And when you're at home, you have to be a little more proactive about your career because the boss isn't necessarily there all the time, but right. you need to make sure to, to share what you're doing and, yes. and stuff. Um, and then don't, you know, it's so hard over Zoom to, to feel connected with people. Right. So I think if you're engaging with, uh, to bring in outside people to, to talk, um, to get people excited, go, oh my gosh, look at this. Yes, we can do this. Maybe it's about health and wellness. And you'd sit there and say, well, let me call Lisa. Yeah. Or maybe it's you just need a good boost of energy and enthusiasm. So call Xander. You are a boost of energy and, and enthusiasm. So we have to take those extra steps to not isolate ourselves and, and do more rather than less working remotely. Yeah, I think I think the, the short answer there is just it may take a little more uh, engagement on your part and to be proactive and just keep putting it out there. However, when you do it, other people are going to react to it and that's going to create that epic work environment that you're looking for and that your colleagues are also like, hey, this is fun. I wanna show up, I wanna show up to, to Lisa's meeting because it's fun. She's got good con, you know, she's, she's bringing in good stuff here. Well, I love that you mentioned enthusiasm because I really think that sometimes you might feel like you're being over the top with enthusiasm, but that is what is, it's like the special secret sauce, isn't it? Of being like the person that others want to be around. You're not like boring. Well, it, it, enthusiasm is, and I, you know, it, it's hard to use this word because it has such negative, but contagious. Like uh -huh. Someone who's really excited <laughs> about something. Yeah. Right? Um, when you, you know, if, if you're, you know, since I know you do health and wellness, it's like you go and do an exercise class, right? If the instructor has good energy, is making you feel good, um, then you work a little harder. You're, you're kind of like, okay, I'm suffering, but it's not that bad. Right? And you're also too likely to want to come back rather than- Absolutely. Like, oh, hell no, I'm not going to that exercise class. It's boring. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, the exercise instructor goes, all right, now we need to do, uh, you, you, what? What? I'm no. really tired. I know it's really hard, you know? No, I think in a pandemic, I love the way you're bringing this up that we all need to just bring our A game. We need to be enthusiastic. And then one of my other favorite topics is how can we turn roadblocks into scenic detours? Well, I think the first thing to keep in mind is oftentimes we have what we, we, we think there's a roadblock in front of us, right? But it turns out that it's a mirage, right? So I'll use myself personally, right? I could, I could lose a, a few pounds. I know what to do, but I have all these roadblocks. I'm putting that in quotes, folks, uh, of, of, why I can't do it, why I can't start now. But those don't actually exist. I'm putting them there, right? I heard that. I heard that, but I wasn't going to call you out. I, 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 I'm, I'm owning it. I, out. I'm owning it, Lisa. I appreciate I, that. I think, I think, I, I mean, and look, the pandemic certainly was a gigantic roadblock for For everybody. everybody. 
that's why I'm here. I mean, absolutely. We want to help you guys bounce back and be enthusiastic like Xander. So how can we turn those into well, scenic detours? Well, okay. So stop, assess, plan, and achieve, and always enjoy that journey. Okay. It, it, there are roadblocks. Okay. There's stuff that and look. The pandemic's not a mirage. It's real. However, I think if we stop and go, okay how do what do i need to do how do i need to pivot right there is always more than one route to get to your destination and i think it, it's just human nature for us to say uh here here's how i'm going i used to i used to work in, in corporate america i had about an hour drive down down to intel where i used to work and i knew the way to get there and for a whole year, I never entertained that there was more than one route that I could take. Right. But one day there was a huge accident. I couldn't do that. And I discovered a whole new way to get there. It took right. about five minutes longer, but it was a lot more beautiful. And, and I, I constantly remind myself, we are creatures of habit. However, we can get to something in a different way. Uh, weight loss. Some people think oh, I just have to have calorie restriction. That's not necessarily the only way to get to weight loss. There's, There's a many ways that all the time. There's many ways. And I love that. There's always three solutions to every problem as one of my best friends, Jackie Sabrin said on her podcast. So it's like, you know, there's more, more than one way to get there. Start where you're stopped. And I know before um, we even started recording, you were telling me a little bit about being a sibling survivor. And I know so many of us have gone through so much loss and grief. Do you want to address that difficult topic about the myths involved that sabotage happiness? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, yeah, we all experience grief and stuff. I mean, there isn't, first, first and foremost, there's no proper way to grieve, right? It's your journey, okay? So, so the way that you may deal with, and when I'm talking about grieving, it could be the loss of, of someone close to you, someone dies, it could be an end of a relationship, your job, whatever. Yeah. We all have so many things that make us, that where, where we're grieving about the, that loss. Well, there isn't one proper way to do it. Um, People will say, oh, Lisa, aren't you over that? Um, I lost my older sister 25 years ago. Oh. I am, I will never get over losing her. I'm working my way through it and most days better than, than you know, not. But you're always, you're, you're working your way through it. You don't get over the end of a relationship that had meaning to you. You there's layers right there's like good days and bad days and absolutely layers. um look it's okay not to be okay that's not my thank you opinion. we've heard that a lot but it is it's okay i'm not okay today good that's days fine. and bad days we all have them and and i love how strong you are and open you are to talking about such a difficult topic and i also have another question for you um absolutely um, just because I'm curious, I mean, what is like the 97.3 rule for instant empowering perspective? Look, Lisa, I love the 97.3 rule because the 97.3 rule is so easy. 97% of your day is good. Up to 3% isn't as good. So why are we focusing on the 3% that isn't good versus the 97 that is? And the way I, I'd like to put it is um, if, if you were taking a, a, a math test and you got a 97, would you be complaining about the three points you didn't get, Lisa? No, I'd be like backflips. Absolutely. So, so our days are actually, there's so many good things that happen. Lisa, you woke up this morning, you, you, know, you, you organized, you're doing your podcast. These are all really great things. If you just had, if it rained for three minutes out of a beautiful day while you had a picnic, and then you go, oh, yeah, it was terrible, it rained. Um, it was three minutes out of like a six-hour picnic where it was beautiful. 
why are you focusing on that part? So, so how do you change the focus then instead of like, cause that's human nature, isn't it? To just be so perfectionistic that we're focused on the three. Well, I think, I think there's, there's, uh, you know, I think we need to acknowledge that something isn't going right, but there's so much more that is going right. Right. And, and think, think of it this way, Lisa, in baseball, you make it into the Hall of Fame if you have a lifetime batting average of over 300. That means that you were successful 33% of the time. Ah, oh, great example. So if, I, if, if I'm successful because I only have to get it right one third of, the, of my day, yeah, that's pretty awesome. But we don't. I think, I, you know, it's hard to say what the psychology behind focused focusing in on what went wrong but i i think there's so much more in your day that is good and we seem to just conveniently forget those things right? i think i think if we start with gratitude for the good and having a mindset practice that can definitely help don't you agree absolutely and when you find yourself like focusing in on those bad things stop and go okay what are some good things that happen? And I, I guarantee there's going to, it's not going to be hard to come up with a list. And as I said, it's stuff that we don't even think about. That's good. I woke up this morning. Right. I, I have my exercise. coffee. I got my I coffee. Well. I'm, I get excited about my coffee. Exactly. You had coffee and it didn't taste bad. Awesome. I that roof well. over my head. There's so many things to be positive about instead of focusing on that 3% negative. I just love your energy. I, I did um, have one more final question sure. to ask you because I want to leave everybody with some really good tips. I hope you're taking notes. How can we um, visualize and realize our epic goals? Well, I think the first thing to do, write it down. Write down what your epic is. And keep in mind, your epic can be travel to a country you've always wanted to go to, lose weight, get a degree, write a book, go speak in front of, you know, 10,000 people. It, it, your epic is your epic. But if you write it down, it becomes a lot more real. That's think a great about, Think about how you might achieve your epic. Because it's great to say, I have this epic thing, but we kind of have to have a plan. We have to have some structure. Um, kind of, Lisa, you said that you'd run a marathon. I run a marathon. The, the way I was able to do it is I had some structure. I had a plan that allowed me to achieve that epic goal. Right. And, you know, get as detailed as you can when you're writing down your plan, because I think that that is key to doing it. And visualizing it is important too, right? Absolutely. You've got to visualize it, but you also have to have some idea or, or we don't always have an idea of the steps, but we're like, well, I, I know I can do this, this, and this. And the last one. One step, right? One step at a time. The last one, share it with other people. Oh. Because it. that makes you accountable. Yes, accountability is the cornerstone of accomplishing goals. I love everything you're up to in the world, Xander Sprague, and your energy. And I know if you guys are listening to this on audio, you can't see his smile, but he has an epic smile. So where can people find you and your book, Epic Begins with One Step Forward? If they, if you can go to xandersprague.com and I'll say it's Xander with a Z, not an X. Um, and it, it, you can also find me on uh, Instagram, uh, epic underscore begins is my Instagram account. And um, oh my just, just Google, if you just Google Xander Sprague, I'm gonna pop up. Awesome. Well, wonderful. Thanks for being a guest on Whole CEO with Lisa G. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming to Whole CEO with Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at lisagfit.com.